example 1.1 from both textbooks. In this example, there is a school that is paying 12 cents per kilowatt hour for electrical power. To reduce the power bill, the school is installing a wind turbine which has a rate power of 30 kilowatts. If the turbine operates for 2200 hours at the given rate of power, we need to determine the amount of electrical power generated by the wind turbine and the money that is saved by the school. We have the list of the known values from the problem, the list of what needs to be found, and the assumptions. The main assumption for this problem is that the turbine is operating under a steady process. The first step is to calculate the amount of electrical power generated by the wind turbine. That is equivalent to the total amount of energy generated by the turbine. And that is going to be equal to the amount of the rate power times the time that it runs for. So we simplify by time. So in this case, we have a rate of 30 kilowatts. And then it runs for 2200 hours. We multiply these two numbers and we obtain a value of 66,000 kilowatt hours. So once again, this is the amount of electrical power generated by the turbine. If you think about it, the amount of energy generated by the turbine is the amount of energy that is going to be not used by the electrical power that you have in the in the school, therefore, this is going to be equivalent to what is going to be saved. Therefore, we need to find out how much money is saved. So we simply say, so the money that is saved is equal to the amount of um, energy that is uh, provided by the turbine. And that is going to be multiplied by the cost um, that we would have had to pay if we had just electric, the regular electrical power. So we simply have the total energy And we're going to multiply it by the cost. So this is going to be 66,000 kilowatt hours. And we said that the cost it was equal to 12 cents per kilowatt hour. So notice that this and this cancels. Therefore, the total savings are going to be equal to $7,920. To review, we calculated the total energy that was generated by the turbine. This is equal to the amount of energy that it will be replaced, um, that will be replacing the electrical power. Once we got this value, we multiplied by the cost that it would have been to pay for that electrical power, and that provides us the money that it will be saved by the school.